the Tunnels to Tower run. We do it in honor of Steven Siller. We will also be doing a 60 workout of 60 push-ups and 60 squats. To remember the 60 pounds on average of equipment that those firefighters carry up and down the stairs. Those men and women face that day knowing that they cannot have much hope other than saving maybe one, maybe two, or a couple of people that they were sacrificing their lives for. And I think it's also important to remember the West Point classes that were here in 2001. When they went to bed on September 10th, they had no idea that they were going to wake up to something other than that peace time that the United States was in. So just like those people graduated from West Point knowing that they were going to enter time that required them to do something greater than themselves, to sacrifice, we are called to that same standard. So today, we honor those people after we run, after we do these push-ups, and as we do all these squats in remembrance of them. But I'll tell you, I'm going to run today and remember some other folks. And I'm going to run for my dog. And you say, well, what is that? A little bit of context is you're going to go into a formation where soldiers' families have been affected by 9 11 as much as a soldier. And I tell you a very quick story. I redeployed from uh, Iraq in Baghdad in 2006 after 12 months. The brigade stayed on for three more. And unfortunately, I buried 28 soldiers in a three month period. And the phone call would come to my house about three o'clock every morning. And it would say, Kyle, we lost six today. Kyle, we lost nine today. Just think of those numbers. And one day I got up, three o'clock, trying not to wake my wife up as I was getting dressed and going to take paperwork. And I, it was dark and I felt something was next to me. And I looked down and guess who it is? It's my six-year-old daughter, Zoe. And Zoe is crying. It's three o'clock in the morning. She says, Daddy, a soldier died today, didn't he? I said, honey, what makes you think that? She said, Daddy, your phone rings. Every time your phone rings, a soldier dies. So here's a six-year-old trying to take 9-11 five years later and get perspective. And the only thing she can connect is a ringing phone with a soldier gun. So we remember those that died. We remember those brave men and women that went into the, uh, the towers. Those that responded in every single way to help on that dreadful day. But I ask you to remember and look for those soldiers and their families that had a second order effect.